in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of my classic Christmas cookie recipes. I did not develop these recipes, but these are the ones that I found on Pinterest back in high school or something, and I've been making every single year. So I hope maybe it'll give you a little bit of inspiration for your Christmas cookies. And there is an interesting little twist in here where I use some fondant cutters to actually mix and match the cookie doughs together. Sometimes I also cover them in royal icing. I've done whole decorations. So maybe I'll make a video about that at some point, but I find the royal icing decorating of sugar cookies, while a beautiful and an art form, is so time consuming and the royal icing gets everywhere and it's just too much to bother when you're baking other things, cooking other things for Christmas. So I found that combining the sugar cookie recipe I'm going to show you and the chocolate cookie recipe together makes them look decorated without actually having to do very much. If anything, I just add a little bit of white royal icing on top and that's it. So I hope you enjoy this video and have are having happy holidays and Merry Christmas. All right guys, so it is the day after Thanksgiving, which means Christmas baking has officially begun. I'm gonna be making bulk batches of sugar and chocolate sugar cookie dough to put in the freezer. That way I have them throughout the season. If we need to go over to somebody's house, when my cousin's little kids come over, we can just pull it out, roll it out um, and make cookies. So I'm just gonna make them in big bulk batches. So come along, um, I'll show you both of my recipes I found on Pinterest, but I've used them for years tried and true. Um, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos of Christmas baking. The links to both recipes are down in the description of this video. This is the one for sugar cookies and both recipes are very straightforward. We are creaming together the butter and the sugar. The um, vanilla ones are a little bit different in that you're going to take milk and you're actually gonna mix in your baking powder with your milk and then pour that in. Um, but aside from that, it is Creaming together butter and sugar and then adding the dry ingredients. Thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree. Oh Christmas tree. Thy leaves are so unchanging. As you can tell, this makes a ton of dough. It almost overwhelmed my mixer, but I still ended up making a triple batch. It was just annoying that I had to do it three separate times. Um, but I just separated the dough out into three little sections right here, put it in the freezer, and I did this three times over. So I have nine of these in my freezer. And then at that point, I moved on to the chocolate. Oh, Christmas tree, such pleasure do. Same as before, we're creaming together our butter and sugar, this time with some vanilla extract. This recipe comes from Sally's Baking Addiction, who I trust implicitly. I recommend her website for all types of recipes. Um, you're going to use dark cocoa powder, Dutch processed or special dark, and add it into your dry ingredients. So that's what's gonna give this a really great chocolate color and flavor. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. This recipe doesn't make a ton of dough. I would double it next time, but I'm just gonna separate it out into two portions and wrap it up and put it in the freezer just like I did with the last ones. You'll ever be unchanging, a symbol of good will and love. You'll ever be So you can follow the linked recipes um, for the baking temperatures. I think it's 350 for both of them. Um, you basically just roll it out to your desired thickness for both. But let's talk about how I decorate or how I don't decorate. Um, these little shapes that you see where I can sort of mix and match the doughs, I use fondant cutters. So I have my cookie cutters for the broader, um, you know, Christmas tree, snowman, and then for the hearts, stars, etc., um, I use little fondant cutters. Mine are from Duff Goldman like a million years ago, but I have some similar ones linked down below. And this just means they look decorated, but they're actually not, and they're much easier. Sometimes I do like a cow print, like you can see here, um, and that is even easier. I love this look for the royal icing, but it takes so long. So if I do make royal icing, I typically just do white and do some sort of little design like this. Okay guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. 
I really love the technique of using the fondant cutters to mix and match the cookie doughs. In the past, like I said, I have actually just mixed them together, almost sort of like a cow print, and made cookies like that. It really is a great help because my family absolutely loves chocolate, so while I want to make traditional sugar cookies, having a little bit of chocolate always makes everybody happier. So I hope you guys are having a great holiday season, and maybe you'll try out this technique sometime soon. Take care. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Always forget to say that. But if you like these recipes and these types of videos, um, let me know and I'll make more. Thanks. My darling, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I love you.